Let's go! After eight grueling weeks, it's my pleasure to give this $100,000 check to the last camper standing. Danica Wookie. I give you the ultimate symbol of survival on this island, the final marshmallow. Yes! Everybody's happy. There might be enough left over for a rockin' party and everyone's invited. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of this, sir, business. By the way, have y'all met each other? Yes, Stanley. I'm perfectly fine. So, tell us everything. So there we was, my rocket jet going full blast. Matthew! Hanging on for dear life when suddenly them two nasty lemons come out of nowhere with guns drawn. We was gone. But then, out of nowhere, this beautiful spike swoops in from the sky to save I don't know. I think these facts are pretty interesting. Oh, please, come on. None of this happened. Rocket jets, flying spy cars. No, you're quite right. It does sound a bit far-fetched. What are you doing here? It's so good to see you again. Oh. <laughs> Our satellites picked up an urgent communique. <laughs> so you got to my email. Oh, man. Y'all is going to have a great time. Everybody, he's a secret agent. Don't tell nobody. She. I'm Stanley's girlfriend. So nice to meet you all. It was to believe you now. Whoa, honey, you got a dent there. Ay, que suave! Was that from when you swooped in and you saved them in London? Manny? What? I'm just asking! Oh, don't you worry, sweet pea. My sugar baby I can get that fixed up for you in no time. Yeah, sure thing, man. No problemo. Just let me go get my tools. No, no, no. Did you bring the money? Got it. A valuable dent? Oh, she's as crazy as Mater. <laughs> sure you're not, Mr. Will Ritson. No, there's one thing I still don't get. The bad guys hit me with the bean from the camera, right? So why didn't I, you know... Explode in a fiery inferno? Yeah. We couldn't figure that one out either. Our investigation proved that all in all was actually gasoline. And now engineered it so that when it got hit by the beam, it would explode. Wait a second. You said my fuel was safe. If you're implying that I switched out that rot good excuse for alternative fuel with my all-natural sustainable organic biofuel just because I never trusted now, you're dead wrong, man. It was him. Once big oil, always big oil. Man. He did? Oh, okay. 